BMW has Rolls-Royce, Volkswagen has Bentley, and Mercedes-Benz has Maybach. Let's be real here, Maybach isn't quite as recognisable as a luxury brand as its British-badged German rivals. But in recent years, the Daimler sub-brand has gone from churning out inelegant saloons based on Mercedes S-Classes to glamorous limousines, still based on the Mercedes S-Class, as well as SUVs and luxury coupes. Now the company has added another model to the mix and, you guessed it, it's based on the Mercedes S-Class. But wait, that's by no means a bad thing given that the all-new S-Class is one of the most opulent saloons on the market. But Maybach has worked its magic to transform its Mercedes sibling into a true Rolls-Royce rival. With that in mind, here are five things you need to know about the Maybach S-Class. But before we jump into the list, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. When Maybach was revived back in the early 2000s, their early offerings were somewhat divisive. Celebrities loved them, but people who had to see them on the street wanted to douse their eyes with bleach. But its recent offerings have been a huge improvement, and that goes for the new model. While it carries the same lines as the S-Class, the Maybach version has several key differences. The first is the massive grille, which is far more ornate compared to the Mercs. And there's a shiny, body-wide vent that incorporates the front brake ducts. There's more chrome to be found at the side of the car, and there's also a chrome strip that runs along the centre of the bonnet, which harks back to the centrally hinged bonnets of Maybachs from the 1930s. Tying it all together is an optional two-tone paint scheme, which really sets the Maybach apart from its Rolls-Royce and Bentley rivals. This new generation Maybach S-Class isn't powered by electricity, which may come as a disappointment to some. However, as Rolls-Royce CEO Torsten muller Opvos once told me, combustion engines are a bit like Swiss watches. Digital watches are better at telling the time, but people are still fascinated by moving parts and complications. In the UK, we'll be getting two engine options. They are a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 producing 496 brake horsepower and, hallelujah, a 6-litre twin-turbo V12 developing 603 bhp. A 3-litre six-cylinder plug-in hybrid will also be offered, but unfortunately we won't be getting that in Blighty at launch. Power gets sent to all four wheels as standard, though you can spec two different rear wheel steering options. One that turns the wheel up to 4.5 degrees, and the other ups that to 10 degrees. It's designed to keep the car nice and stable when changing lanes on a motorway, and improve corner turn-in on tight bends. It may be powered by Barney the Dinosaur and his mates, but the Maybach S-Class is silent. Well, it is on the inside courtesy of noise-cancelling technology similar to the feature you'll find on a set of luxury headphones. If pulling on your car's door handles often leaves you weary, then Maybach's got you covered. The company has kitted out the S-Class with electronically assisted rear doors, which open automatically when you gently pull on the door handle. They can also be operated from inside the cabin, so your driver could open the rear doors as you approach the car. How convenient. And while you're back there, you could always grab a cold one courtesy of the Maybach's mini fridge. True, in-car fridges are certainly nothing new, but this S-Class comes with its own Maybach branded glassware. Drivers get access to two OLED screens up front, one being a 12-inch digital cockpit and the other a 13-inch infotainment system. Like the regular S-Class, the two screens are no longer joined at the hip, with the 13-inch panel floating elegantly on its own in the centre of the dashboard. Along with all the tech you get in the S-Class, the Maybach version gets rose gold coloured graphics to set it apart from the ordinary car. There's also 3D scanners in the roof that can detect gesture controls from passengers in the rear. Speaking of those in the back, passengers can access two 12-inch OLED displays, one on each headrest, that not only serve as screens to watch movies on, but you can actually detach them from the headrests and use them as tablets with your favourite apps. 
The fifth and final screen is located in the center of the armrest and is used to control the music and many, many massage functions. If you're a chauffeur who's liking the sound of this new Mybag S-Class, you might not want to get your hopes up just yet. That's because the Luxo Limo comes with Merck's Drive Pilot system, which can offer up to level 3 autonomy in certain cities around the world. Don't fret though, the system doesn't come into effect until next year and in any case, you'll need someone behind the wheel for safety reasons. In any case, it should mean that your driver will be nearly as comfortable as you are sat in the back drinking from your Maybach champagne glasses while your calves are massaged by the massage seats. Yes, that's a real feature. Prices have yet to be announced, but the car is due to go on sale in early 2021, probably for around £150,000. In the meantime though, you can head over to yesauto.com for all the latest car news and reviews.